All right, I'm going to try this again. So everybody's poppies are arriving, and I figured I would do another video. Number one, if you've got a poppy, you need to go to Frederick's poppy page, which is lightsaber V4, and the top of the page looks like this with poppy board. And then on this same page, he has the configurator, just like I showed you in my other video. Now, the configuration uh, file is different for the poppy board than it is for the Teensy Saber. So if you're doing a configuration for poppy, you need to make sure you do it off the configurator on the poppy page, number one. Number two, everybody's getting tripped up on the installing the, the poppy plugin. So go and grab Arduino. I think I'm running 1.87 now, which is different than my video that I already put up on the, on the video, on the uh, previous Teensy Saber videos. Now I'm going to open Lightsaber Eno. And we're going to show you how to do the Poppy plugin. So while that's opening, I'm going to go to the Soft Frederick software page. So here on his main Poppy board page, uh, you see he's got a link down here for his software page. So I'm going to go to a software page, and on the software page, he tells you right here, how do you set up a Poppy board? Here's the instructions right here. Preparations for Poppy board. Install the latest Arduino software, which I already have. Mine's 1.87. And then install the Poppy board plugin. Now this is a link. The link goes to this page. Now everybody's looking here and trying to copy these files here or whatever. No. Here you go. Here's how to install it. Um, you know, you install the latest version of Arduino IDE, and then you go to the Preferences tab. And then you add this address right here as an additional board manager URL. And how you do that is you go into your Arduino, you go to Preferences right here, and then click this box, because this will give you individual ones, and you add the address right here. Now, I've got two addresses. This is so I can program the Red Bear Nanos, but this is the plug-in for the Poppy Board address right here. So once you put this Poppy Board address in there and you click OK, then you go, still in Arduino, to Tools. Select Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Click Boards Manager, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. <coughs> And, you know, I've got the Red Bear Nano stuff here, but you see this Poppy Board plugin by Frederick Cubanet. Now, if you haven't installed it yet, you'll have an install option right here. Click Install. Once you install that, the Poppy Board plugin is installed. Then you just have to make sure that when your, um, there we go, tools, you want to make sure, like you can see here right now, like if I'm formatting for a board right now, it's on Teensy 3.2, because I do Teensy Savers and Poppies still. So you have to scroll down, and boom, you want to select Poppy Board, if you're going to be compiling for the Poppy Board. Poppy Board, right there. You can see it's compiling for board Poppy Board. And then for me, because I'm still doing a lot of Teensy Saber installs, so I'm going to go back and keep mine on Teensy 3.2. And if I open Tools, once it chills out, my computer's kind of screwing with me. Uh, you can see that I am compiling still for Teensy 3.2. But, you know, that's the only difference in, in doing the, the compilation. Uh, for Poppy Board and Teensy Saver is installing the Poppy Board plugin and you don't download anything off Frederick's website. You open Arduino and you do everything from Arduino and Arduino imports the Poppy Board plugin. The only other thing you need to do, if you have a Windows computer, you have to also follow these directions here about installing the bootloader uh, by downloading Zadzig and then you plug the Poppy board into your computer and follow these instructions so you make sure you have the, the proper uh, driver that can recognize the Poppy board. Outside of that, everything else on, on, these, on these Poppy boards is the same. So if I go to a config file and I'll go to my Poppy graph files. This was the configuration file for my 
uh, floppy graph web, so I'm going to open it with WordPad. So here's my configuration file for my crop, the Crappy GraphWex. But just remember, you have to generate this configuration file from Frederick's Crappy page because there is some language in the definitions at the top and at the bottom that are different between Teensy Saver and Crappy. But as far as the presets go, if you have working presets that already worked in Teensy Saver, so here is, you know, here's uh, one of my presets right there. That's my first preset. I know it compiles, I know it works. I can copy and paste all these presets and put them into you know, a new configuration file, but you just have to make sure that you maintain the very top of the configuration file and then the very bottom of the configuration file. And outside of that, um, you know, it's still all the same as my initial videos. I hope that helps. Uh, may the force be with you.